Hello, this is a presentation on how to create a Keynote presentation using the Keynote app on iPad. So I'm going to show you uh, how to go about this. The first thing we'll do is uh, go to the Keynote app, which I have open in this folder here. So we can go to the app. Now in order to create a presentation, all we have to do is click on my apologies there. So click on the plus button in the top corner here. So we'll click on the plus button in order to create a new presentation. And then we can come down here and uh, just select create presentation. So now is, here's where we have a lot of options. We can go with uh, some different styles that uh, are around. So we can choose uh, just a white style in order to start it off. And uh, take a look here. So uh, it has pretty straightforward instructions from the start. You can uh, double tap to edit text and your keyboard will pop up and you can edit text. Um, let's say you're talking about, uh, we'll just put education as the title. And uh, if you press the keyboard button down here, that's how you get rid of the keyboard if you're done typing. So if you just click on that, then uh, that will go away. So uh, the features are very simple to use. On the top, we have uh, some uh, a paintbrush. This paintbrush will um, be able to make edits to an, uh, an image or text that you have. The next is the plus button. And this is how you add uh, media, tables, charts, or shapes. So this is just to show you what happens when you click on them. Media can go to your camera roll and photo stream. Next, tablets or tables, sorry. Uh, you can add different types of tables into your presentation. Charts, you can add different 2D and 3D charts. Of course, shapes, you have uh, different shapes here and uh, it's there's quite a few different colors if you just swipe to the sides you can get the different colors of shapes but they're all the same from one page to the next a variety of shapes to add to your presentation so <clears throat> then the next is the um, wrench here and that's uh, gives you some options so you can do some transitions and builds that's how you change from one slide to the next that's how it's going to look uh, share and print uh, find specific text within the presentation, uh, show presenter's notes. So you can write notes and if you're presenting onto a, another device then you'll see the notes on your iPad while the presentation is showed on the actual display. Um, we'll go into advanced to look at a couple features here. You can turn on slide numbers. You can turn on guides. Uh, what the guides does is it makes it so that things will snap into place and you'll see when I'm moving objects around what that means in terms of things snapping into place. Uh, next you've got interactive hyperlinks and uh, you can link to anything uh, just by clicking an object. Now that I've clicked a hyperactive link I could type on education and then I can say link to uh, a slide, link to next slide, uh, link to the first slide, etc. Or on the bottom you notice there's uh, the slide URL or mail. So I can link it to a URL and I can actually link this slide to a specific URL. So if I click in here I can put in the URL ambrose.edu and what that means is that uh, this actual box will become a, a, UR, a link to a URL. Uh, again, there's of course mail and you can make it so that when someone clicks on that link it's going to be, make an email to yourself. So you just put in your own email uh, there. So uh, that's how that works. You can press done. So again, we're back up here into the uh, wrench, the, the settings and advanced. So that was hyperlinks. Uh, the next is presentation type and remote. 
So presentation type, you can loop it. So if you're showing a, a bunch of pictures that you want to go over and over again, you can put it on loop, uh, normal, hyperlinks only, self-playing. So those aren't, aren't too big of an option. Usually if you're showing a presentation, you're going to uh, be doing a normal presentation. So we can go back and uh, the remote. Uh, if you have an iPhone, you can change the slides from your iPhone. So you can actually have your iPad sitting on a desk similar to a computer and then just use the iPhone to switch between slides. So those are the features up top. So now I'll just show you how they work. So if we go up to uh, <coughs> the, go down to the bottom here where the plus is, we can add a new slide. And I'll just highlight that so you can see what I mean. Here's the plus down here. So we can just go plus and that will uh, give us a slide to choose from. So we can choose uh, slides with text, pictures, blank, you know, titles. So uh, we can just choose this one here. And uh, now we have an area to work with. So again, it, as it says, it's already says double tap to edit, and that's how you add text. So you can edit. Uh, you can also paste here. If you press for uh, a little bit longer, then you've got the paste and insert button. So paste would paste something that you've already copied to your clipboard. So if you're in uh, Safari, and I'll, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll show an example of that right now. So if I go to Safari on the bottom here, so I can uh, actually select text in this document and copy it. Then I could go back to Keynote and I could paste that text by holding until the um, a magnifying glass shows up and when I let go I have the paste and insert. So if I paste, it'll paste the, docu the, the text that I just grabbed from the website. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shake the iPad and when I shake it I have an undo or cancel so I can undo that text. So I'll just double tap here where we'd have a paragraph and you may have some text text, text, and this is actually where you'd want to insert uh, here you can actually move things back and forth if you just hold on it and you can drag it around. I'm now I'm going to make those so they are no longer tabs and that's up in the corner here. So if we choose, if we're on text and we choose this uh, paintbrush well, we can change the style. So right now, the style is, is bullets. So let's just say we have a, a body. So we're going to choose body right here. And now, when we go back to our text, we type, we type, and then we enter. And then we type some more. Now, what happens is when we uh, we'd like to tab this in, we can let go, and we can insert a tab, and that will move it over. I'll just show that to you again. So if I hold down the magnifying glass, insert a tab, and it's going to move it over. So it's pretty straightforward if you want to add tabs, etc. cetera. Uh, that is how you do it. And let me see what else I should uh, explain. Uh, animations. So, so also, uh, the same thing works uh, before I go into animations with images. So if I click on this image here, I've got some options up at the top, but if I click on the paintbrush at the top, and uh, again that's the paintbrush here, while I'm clicked on the image I have other options. So if I'm on text I give, get a, a certain amount of options, if I'm clicked on an image I get a different set. So I can change uh, where in the back to front this is. So uh, if I've got text on top of pictures or pictures on top of text, I can decide whether I want the picture in front or the text in front. And then I can flip it vertically or horizontally. Uh, the mask, um, I, can, I can edit the mask and I'll show you what that means. So editing the mask just means where what the actual pi picture looks like inside of the frame. So I can change the size of the actual picture. Or I can change the size of the frame so that I can only see, I only want to see the face and so that the pictures are just the face so now when I click off I actually just see the, the picture of the face inside the frame so it's kind of like a frame and it's called a mask so choosing pictures for your thing is pretty straightforward if I just click on the button here which is the image that's just a placeholder 
So if I click that, I get some options to choose photos from my camera roll or my photo stream. All right, the next thing is animates. So uh, animations between things. So if I click on any text uh, or image, I get a, a whole bunch of options up at the top here. And if I press the animate button, it takes me to a separate screen. And it says at the top here, if you read it, uh, tap a slide or an object to animate, to, to add an animation. So uh, as you can see right here, there's the, the none for build in and none for build out. So if I add a build in, I can choose an option and see how that works, or just appear, or let's do the cube. So that's how it looks with the cube. Um, that's a build in. I can then click this arrow to play it again. And uh, that's that. You can click off. Now if I click on this image again, I can actually do an option to build out. So I might want an object to come in at one point, and then I actually want it to leave before I do another, before the next thing comes on. So I can build, do a build out. On most slides that we present, we may want to uh, have, we usually have build ins, but we don't usually build them out because we want them to stay there uh, as we go along. So you'll have eight points show up on your slide and you don't want any of them disappearing. You want them all there at the end. So we usually don't do build outs, but there's a lot of the same options when you do choose build out to, to have them disappear. So uh, that's that. Uh, it works the same way. If I click on a slide, I can choose to add animation to a slide. And uh, the options are here. I can, when the slide comes in, I can do blinds or whatever it is. Uh, again, there's options here for how long I want the, uh, trans the transition to happen for. Uh, whether it's one second or do I want it to take three seconds for it to turn. So that's that option. Again, I'm going to do one more build here so you can see uh, some of the options that are at the bottom that we didn't go over. So if I ch choose blinds for this object, so that's this one right here, um, I can have some options. Again, options for how long. But there's also delivery. So because this is text, I can decide to bring in all the text at once or bring in the text by paragraph or by paragraph group or by highlighted paragraph. So I can just bring in one piece at a time or bring in the whole paragraph. So if you have a, a whole bunch of text and you want to show up once at a time, that's how you would adjust it right here. And then of course, here in the order, this is how you uh, change the order in this slide. So right now I've got the image that shows up first and then the text. I can easily move this just by clicking this handlebar and moving it up. And now the text will come in in the image. And that's that. And just to make sure I haven't missed anything, I'll take a quick look. But I think uh, that's a fairly simple way to, to use Keynote to do some presentations.